but they'll say it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. All right, work with me, partner. This is the classic understatement. Their execution has been very poor. Last three drives, two interceptions and a fumble. Winning football? We're not seeing it right now. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Tackle made right at midfield. Eight yards on the pickup. Here's Murray from midfield. And the hookup here to Allen Robinson. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. Allen Robinson. First and goal from the six. From the gun, Murray. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. A six-yard touchdown run as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. For the extra point. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Richie James on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Tigers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United? And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember, I was going for the age. I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that well, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 14. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Well, they intercept Garoppolo for the third time. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. On first down, Drake. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Right at the line of scrimmage. Second down. Murray sets to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. And it'll bring up third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Brings up. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. They have a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Ten. Well, they got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. At their own 25-yard line.
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Flushed out right. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 21, 21. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if you're starting through four in the first half, he might throw eight or more. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. We hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Second down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. And finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' 27-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. On second down, it's Drake. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third down. He may try and run for this. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And he missed it. It's no good. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. 13 seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Intended for Debo Samuel. Incomplete. It's second down and ten. Here's second and ten now from the 29. To throw is Garoppolo. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. For Debo Samuel. It's a back-to-back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach.
We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And we see James, he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Poster. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Gets this one to use check. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Kyle use check. 31 yards. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Next distance for Cardinals 10, 49ers 7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. No oh, spinning away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. 30. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Arizona. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want him to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To pick up a three. Now Garoppolo. Second and seven. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Garoppolo on first down. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 34. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Garoppolo. Raheem Mostert averaged 5.6 yards per carry last year. That was second in the NFL. So it's safe to say that it paid off that he patterned his work ethic after his hero, Frank Gore, the former 49er. That's a guy who really shows you how to go out and get it done each and every day. Raheem Mostert patterned him and had a breakout season in 2019 with the 49ers. On second down, Mostert. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. 22 yards. And the 49ers are back within a score. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. 17. 